Hello guys, welcome back to part 2 of where we discover the astonishing transformation of Saudi Arabia and Naom. This time we'll talk about the line that will be inside the Naom. So sit down, buckle your belts and listen. What is the line that will be inside the Naom? The line, part of the large Naom project, will be the first city in the world to be powered by 100% renewable energy, including wind, solar and hydrogen. And with its innovative design, the line will be the world's first zero gravity vertical city, allowing residents to move seamlessly through the city in three dimensions. But it's not just the technology that sets the line apart. The city will have a mirror facade, which will allow even its footprint to blend with nature, preserving the natural beauty of the surrounding landscape. And with 90% of the world's population breathing polluted air, the line is a response to the mounting pressure on urban spaces and the need for solutions for a rapidly expanding global population. As Prince Mohammed said at the launch of the line, why should we sacrifice nature for the sake of development? Why should 7 million people die every year because of pollution? Why should we lose 1 million people every year to traffic accidents? And why should we accept wasting years of our lives commuting? With a hyperrail line running through the city and powered by a renewable powered electric system, commuting will be a thing of the past. And with recent drawing footage revealing that construction has started, the line is becoming a reality. What do Saudis think of Naom? Naom has captured the imagination of the people of Saudi Arabia. And it's no wonder, with its bold vision and innovative design, Naom is unlike anything the world has seen before. Hamid al Kazim, a Saudi IT expert living in Riyadh, was blown away by Naom when he first heard about it in 2017. He couldn't believe that Saudi Arabia was at the forefront of such a revolutionary project. When I first heard about Naom in 2017, I thought it was the most incredible thing. I couldn't believe Saudi Arabia was going to do this, let alone be the first. Liam Baker, a Saudi wellness expert in Jeddah, was also inspired by the scope of the project. Liam Baker believes that Naom is the boldest and most ambitious idea of the decade. Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman has been the torchbearer of his ideas and is leading the country, especially its youth and future generations, into a modern era where man and nature can coexist and flourish in harmony. <laughs> كم اللي بيجينا في او المستهدف في 2030؟ طبعا الايرادات صندوق الاستثمارات العامه على خزينه الدوله صفر الان الهدف صندوق الاستثمارات العامه هو جروث انه نخلق صندوق ضخم جدا حتى يكون بعد 2030 رافد لايرادات الدوله فاليوم انا ابغى نستهلك صندوق الاستثمارات العامه بانه يحول ارباح لميزانيه الدوله على حساب نمو الصندوق لا أنا لأن ما لانه تريليون ونص ريال او 4 تريليون ريال في 2025 غير كافيه انها تسوي بالانس من الايرادات اللي من القطاع النفطي مثل ما ذكرت لك الان تغير الهدف داخل صندوق الاستثمارات العامه سوف يعلن عنه بشكل رسمي الى 10 تريليون ريال في 20 30 فتركيزنا الرئيسي هو نمو صندوق حجم صندوق الاستثمارات العامه وهذا ما تم في اربع سنوات تقريبا نما ب 300% وفي الخمس سنوات القادمه سوف ينمو تقريبا ب 200 او اكثر من 200% وان شاء الله في 20 30 سوف نصل ل 10 تريليون بعدها سوف تبنى سياسه حسب الوضع في ذلك الوقت انه كم نصرف ايرادات من صندوق الاستثمارات العامه لن تتجاوز 2.5% روان احمد a Saudi entrepreneur from Jazan feels that Naom is a momentous moment in the country's history Naom instills a sense of national pride and is a testament to the vision of Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman and King Salman for us it is a great moment in history. It further instills a feeling of national pride, all thanks to the vision of Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman under the leadership of King Salman. نقدم لكم the line. مدينة مليونية بطول 170 كيلو تحافظ على 95% من الطبيعة في أراضي اليوم. صفر سيارات، صفر شوارع، وصفر انبعاثات كربونية. تستطيع أن تقضي حوائجك اليومية. بمدة مشي أقصاها خمس دقائق 
تستطيع أن تصل من أبعد نقطة إلى أبعد نقطة في 20 دقيقة بتكلفة بنية تحتية أقل 30% وبجودة أفضل للمنتجات اللي سوف تتقدم ب 30% بطاقة متجددة 100% مشروع ذا لاين هو ثورة حضارية للإنسان تضع الإنسان أولا التفاصيل سوف تكون كثيرة سوف تقدم في أوقات لاحقة لكن اليوم نترككم مع فيديو مبسط لهذا الإعلان Saudis are buzzing about Neon and it's not hard to see why with its innovative design cutting edge technology and focus on sustainability Neon is a city like no other and the people of Saudi Arabia are ready to be part of it When will it be completed? Neon the city of the future has everyone talking and the question on everyone's mind is when will it be completed? According to the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, Naum's first phase is set to cost 1.2 trillion rials, which is $319 billion, with half of the funding coming from the Kingdom's Sovereign Wealth Fund, the Public Investment Fund, and with a flotation expected in 2024, the financing for Naum is well underway. But when can we expect to see the first residents of Naum? It is expected to have a capacity of 450,000 residents in 2026, with the goal of housing 1.5 to 2 million people by 2030. And by 2045, Naum will be home to 9 million people. So, the future is closer than you think. Get ready, Naum is coming. Naum is more than just a city. It's a symbol of hope and progress. It's a place where the world can come together to create a better future. A future where technology and sustainability go hand in hand. As we look to the future, we can't help but be excited about what Neon will become, a true mega city of the world. These projects are unprecedented in scale and ambition, and they offer unlimited opportunities for investment. So, what do you think about Saudi Arabia's next mega city, Naom? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like this video, share it with friends, and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we add new videos in the future. Thank you, and bye for now.